Well, you know the name Better Business Bureau, right? Reputable and helping to keep us safe from scams and bad businesses. Their name and logo now being used, though, in a phishing scam. Joining me to talk about it, Mindy Eaton with the BBB. Several scams going around that we're going to talk about. Let's start first with you all. It's hard to believe that you all are involved, that somebody is using your title. I know. It went around nationwide, and you know people were receiving emails saying that there had been a complaint filed against their business had our name, had our logo in it, and provided a link for them to click on. All it does, unfortunately, send you to a phishing site and they ask for more personal information. So I don't, how would you know that one was bogus then? Well, we knew it was bogus because it didn't come from anybody within our office or any other office. Okay, so be aware even That's of something like that that appears to look, you know, like it's legitimate. Let's talk about uh, scam text messages. Yeah, and you know, we, we know of emails, we know of phone calls as far as scams, but a lot of scammers now, they're going to text messages and Instead. So if you see a suspicious scam text come across your phone, you know, don't click on any links if you don't know who I've it's gotten from. a couple of those and they scared me. And Absolutely. you might see that they might have grammatical errors or unusual mm -hmm. requests. But if you do not know who it is, then do not click, click on, on it. it. All right, this Can You Hear Me, this has been around for a while. Tell us it's yeah. back yes, again. Yes, it came up very hard and heavy at the beginning of the year. It is back again with the vengeance. Just don't say yes. If somebody asks that simple question, can you hear me? Just hang up the phone. You think they're trying to get your voice, though, of you they're saying yes to, to be used in some bad way. Yeah, they're trying to record your yes so they can play it back later to say that you've agreed to some kind of charge of some sort. Be careful about that. Mm -hmm. Fake utility bills program. Yeah, now this is the big one. Um, you know, there are, there are government assistance programs available, but this is not one of them. People are getting calls or emails or social media posts saying that there's a federal program available that allows the government to pay for all your utilities for one month. That ain't going to happen, right? No, they ask for your <laughs> social security number and then they use it to Don't unfortunately ever give that steal out. your identity. I mean, yeah. could you say pretty much if it's something that you're not familiar with, never give out no. your social security no, number. No, no. Okay, iCloud and Apple support. Yeah, so again, another phishing scam. So, you know, you're getting an email saying that the, your iCloud account has been hacked. Unfortunately, it's not Apple that you're calling. It's somebody completely different and then they want your information information and they want to hack in your computer. All right, then overpayment scam, check overpayment scam. What is this yeah. one? Yeah, so when you're selling items online through Craigslist or eBay, somebody sends you a check for the over the amount that you've agreed upon and then ask for you to wire money back, that's the big red flag right there because unfortunately by the time the check clears or in this case bounces, you're out the money and they have their money that you wired to them. All right, and then one quick thing we want to mm -hmm. let people know about, you all have a shredding event. It is free. Yes. I had a bunch yeah. of papers. I've already started stacking awesome. <laughs> up. So you don't, you just show, the earlier you show up, the better yes. usually. Yes, starts at 6 a.m., runs to 11 a.m. at the Kroger parking lot there in Middletown at 12501 Shelbyville Row. We'll be there October the 7th. Um, yes, the sooner the better. Bring up to four bags or boxes of documents to be shredded. And you can also bring in electronics to be recycled, just no printers or monitors. All right, so keep in mind, and that really is a savings because a lot of people charge you to shred absolutely. your documents. Yes, and this All is right, absolutely Andy. free. Thank you so much. <laughs> and if you would like to contact the Better Business Bureau, you can email them, info at bbbkyin.org. Uh, the phone number, 583 6546 for more information. Thank you so much, Mindy. Appreciate mm -hmm. it.